Hey, this is Christopher from DataBridge. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the launch once feature of the guided tour extension. So let's start from the start. You need two dimensions to, to work with that. Uh, you need an object ID for the tour. If you haven't got the object IDs, you can just select objects for the tour and you pick the ones you want to add to the tour. And when you're done, you click this one and here you, you've got object IDs or object ID and the type and the title of the visualization that you can copy to the clipboard to build such a table like you see here. But I've done this already, so I can go ahead and put here as the first dimension the object ID and as the second dimension the column HTML. So I could start the tour now. Right now, I haven't selected or filtered on one particular tour. I only want to work on this tour with the tour ID view. So the next setting here is select a specific tour in the field object ID, select this value Q. If you got anything wrong and it doesn't exist and you try to launch the tour, it will tell you, tell you that. So it's tour ID and now it's correct. One more thing, it says warning the sort order is not the load order. So it comes in a different sort order that you might expect. So go here, turn off number, numeric sorting and alphabetic sorting on the object ID and now you're good to go. So the next thing is, because the feature we're using here is a premium feature, launch once, we will need a license. And the best way to do so is to use a variable. I've put the license into a variable. Here you can see the content. And when you use it here, it is the same license for all the objects you might have in the app. All right, let's check the license real quick. It says, yes, I do have a valid license. Great. When you look at the advanced setting here of the auto launch setting, that it has already opened. I clicked it two minutes ago already. So I clear this remembered settings. They are in the local browser storage. And now if I went to uh, come back and forth, it automatically will start a tour. It remembers it already on the first sheet. So if the user quit here, I do not record if he followed the tour to the end. But coming back, coming forth again, will no longer start the tour. Even if I refresh the browser on another day, it remembers that. So how can I now set the date to open the tour again? As you can see here, I have one important field. I would call it the needle on the time axis. And this is set to somewhere in the past. So if ever a user opened it after that date, it will no longer auto start. So all we'll need to do is provide a newer date than this one. And we'll do that from the script. I'm setting the what's new date to a timestamp. And the format is uh, year, 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 month, month, day, day, and then hour, hour, and minute, minute. So if that is set, I'm now moving the, the needle of what's new into the future relative to the tour. It hasn't started because I'm in edit mode. In this case, it's suppressed. And here in the relaunch once after, you just use this um, what's new date. So with this variable, which is also seen here, now the tour knows that it has something new to show. Let's try coming back, coming forth. It restarts. It restarts once again. So if I quit this, go back, go forward, no more starting of the tour. If for whatever reason, and I'm simulating this here in the, in the load script, I'm always giving it the latest date. So I have, I wait one minute, I reload again. 
now the the relative tour date is in the future to compare to my last uh, setting, which by the way, I could clear here. And now go back, go forward, it restarts again. So uh, have fun with this feature and, and you can reach me on the email address shown with some feedback and questions. Thank you.